that's there. And I'll show you what I did here. And let's leave it here and maybe push our clipping masks a bit more that way. Alright, so the text we can delete that. Tutorial. Alright, the tests are the text is every text layer is set to soft light. And I added a single line that's set to soft light with the lower opacity. And then the anime is set to soft light, and then duplicate that and just lower the opacity. So that way it kind of flows on our document. Because when we change it, it will be changed as well. Okay. So now that the text is done, we need to add a bunch of effects to the entire document. So, we just need to add a bunch of gradient and other stuff. So let's create a new folder above our text and let's call it adjustment layer. Alright. So now with the folder selected, go to the new adjustment layer option below and let's choose gradient map. And we want to set that to multiply so it darkens everything up. And it's going to be from black to white. And just leave the opacity the same. And let's make a new one that will overlay. Same thing, black to white, and let's overlay it. Now we'll make things stand out a bit more. Oops. Our render needs to go below the adjustment layer, so about that. Now the render kind of fits nicely there, but not there. So we need to erase part of the gradient map that has a render on it. So to start erasing on the render when you have the second gradient map selected. Maybe in the one below it, get rid of some. Oops, get rid of some of the hair we have here. All right. So now we need to add a brightness and contrast. And just lower the brightness on on the overall image. Maybe not too dark, but dark enough. Probably around right there. Alright, now, the, right, the left side is dark, and the right side is kind of in between. So let's duplicate the brightness and contrast. And let's just erase the whole left side and the render and let's lower the opacity a bit and there we go and maybe lower the opacity on the whole layer itself so it kind of fits nicely. Okay, now finally we need to add a nice black and white. There we 
Pernius. And let's lower the opacity on that a bit, because we don't want the entire thing to be black and white. Just kind of make it a bit more than it already is. So I made it 34. And just erase parts that you do not really care if that's black and white or not. Let's increase the opacity on the eraser. So that way it adds a bit more effect, so it's not like universal black and white. There are some parts that won't be black and white, there are some parts that will be. So we're not done yet. We need to change the color of our overall image. So to do that, I added a photo filter. And I changed the color to about something kind of like right here and increase the density quite a bit. And then leave it like that. Alright, so now we need to add a curves adjustment layer and just play around with that. 